just happened? Dell just owned CES. All right, champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom, it's Windows Pro time. And before I get into it, if you're in Australia and New Zealand, make sure you check the links in the description for the Dell G7 gaming laptop giveaway. This is Australia, New Zealand only. Unfortunately, it is an ANZ thing, but this thing is serious, i9. So yeah, check out the description if you're in Australia, New Zealand. If you're overseas, you know someone in Australia, come on, get them to comment down there. Yes, <laughs> what just freaking happened? This Friggin' Area 51 gaming laptop. What a friggin' beast. I mean, all these other manufacturers were, you know, doing all their CES press conference. And there were some good laptops. There were some bad ones. But then they'll come in with their big swinging USB dongle. And boom, Area 51. Take a bit of that. Take a bit of that. And that. And that. Yeah, so... Quite amazing, Airy 51 gaming laptop, desktop parts in this. That's what you've got to know, desktop parts. Comes out at the end of the month. I'm going to say it's white. To me, that's white. That's white, white keyboard, sort of, you know, metallic finish on the top. It looks futuristic. It looks something sci-fi. It looks like something aliens would have built. They're much more advanced than us. And yeah, maybe that's why it's called Alienware. Who knows? And it can be configured with an i9-9900K, full desktop part and a GTX. Oh, sorry, RTX, I keep on saying GTX, RTX 2080, yeah, both upgradable. Now, obviously, if you get the i9 and the 2080, you're probably not going to be upgrading, but you can go for the base model with the i7-8700K and an RTX 2060 and then upgrade it later. Seems like a good way to go. 8.5 pounds, 1080p, 144Hz display. That's a bit weird because with these sort of specs, if you get the i9 and the 2080, RTX 2080, you're going to be able to play 144 frames per second at 1440p. Never mind 1080p, but of course... Competitive gamers, they always play at 1080s. So maybe they'll have more display options down the track. Who knows? 64 gigabytes of RAM and it needs two power supplies. Now you can have a 180 travel one and I think the other ones you get 240 or 280 or something like that. And that depends if you get the i9 or the 2080 or the 2060 and the i7. Obviously, the more powerful parts, you need the more powerful power supply. And if you're gaming on battery, you got a 90 watt hour battery. So... With these sort of specs, you'll probably get a full 10 seconds out of that. Best in show, no doubt. They just dropped the biggest bomb of all, and yeah, they just wrecked CES. Let's talk about their other announcements. Ah, no XPS 15. It was like a dagger to my heart. No XPS 15, no. And but, 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 they said OLED 4K displays are coming to the XPS 15 and other laptops like the Alienware and the G series, and they can display HDR. From what I've seen, they look friggin' amazing. Don't know how I let goes with static screens though, but it's nice to have that option. But when would the next XPS 15 come out? When the um, 1150 comes out or the um, 2050? Um, not sure if they're waiting for those parts first and then put in the parts later. I don't know. Maybe they're not going to a new design. Maybe they think that design's pretty ample. I mean, you don't want to really go any thinner because, you know, cooling is an issue with all these premium 15-inch laptops. Yeah, we'll wait and see. So anyway, Alienware M17. Yes, the 17-inch version of the M15. Obviously, Alienware's thinnest 17-inch game laptop, you know, up to i9, RTX 2082. Actually, all the RTX graphics cards, 2060, 2070, 2080. So that thing should be awesome i'll probably be able to get my hands on that but i doubt they'll be seated in the area 51 but hey let's hope they do so that 17 inch i like 17 inch laptops that thing's going to be amazing they also have some great displays a 55 inch oled 4k 144 hertz display wow just wow an ultra wide 49 inch ultra wide now this thing looks insane but i've seen a 48 inch ultra wide in the flesh and yeah they're just they're too wide. They need some vertical space there. I don't know why you're giving up the vertical space. There also is another 20-inch display that looks pretty killer as well. 
They're also updating the Dell G series. So you can add a G5, G7, and yeah, they look really nice now. You'll be able to get RTX graphics. So that's awesome. So last but not least is the XPS 13 has been like refined and they put a new webcam up the top. They've increased the bezel size up the top, but a much better webcam. Looks really good. The webcam sounds really good as well. It's not important to me. I couldn't give a toss. Now also the XPS 13 has been improved in performance. Got the new Whiskey Lake parts. Also, wow, silver, white glass woven deck and a silver exterior. Wow, wow, wow. This is what I want. I tell you now, Frank, you guys building the next XPS, if you do not make this with the white deck and the silver on the outside, I'm going to come to the USA. I'm going to come complain formally. There will be big trouble if you don't do this. Please do it. So anyway, that just about covers it. I think best in show, Area 51 and CES. <laughs> That thing is killer. The 17 inch looks fantastic. Provides XPS 13. All those killer displays. I think they've just smashed it out of the park. I think it's definitely a six. They hit six sixes. So anyway, like to catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.